Come on, answer. But, thank God, but it's me, it's Hank. Hi. I, I know it's late, but I'm in trouble. No, man, it's bad, it's really bad. I'm at, I'm at Flanagan's, come meet me. No, I, I can't speak on the phone, no here. Right. Right, I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Hank, what's the matter? You sounded urgent. It's bad, but everything's... What's going on? You're fucking make me nervous here. It's smart, aren't you? It all started this morning. Well, you can't... What is happening? My fucking arse is making buttons here. I'm only doing my heart any favours, mate. So... I'm striving to my crappy job this morning, as usual. And I get stuck in traffic, as, as usual. So, I just decided I wasn't going. I'd had enough. So, the first chance I could, I turned the car around and drove home. So, I get home, and who's standing there? Angie. Half eight in the morning, full face of makeup, dressing gown. So, I say to her, you're looking nice. She says, why are you here? Very strange. So I go to take a piss. You never guess what I find. The arsehole job's worth of Brian in my toilet, fucking bollock naked. Eugene, you're fucking, your boss? Very sad. Fuck's sake. And I just stand there. Stunned. He just stands there. He doesn't even have the decency to reach for a towel. Fucking arsehole, man. He just smirks and says, Oh, hi, Hank. Lovely home you've got here. So, what did you do? What could I do? I felt like I'd been shocked. I turn around, I get in my car, and I just drove. I just drove and drove, just until I ran out of petrol. All I could think about was how my life had just turned upside down. I hate my job. My house is a shithole. My wife hates me. And to top it all off, she's having an affair with the one person I hate most in the entire world. I just sat in my car and just cried. For about a good hour. Until I noticed the tool shop across the road. So what did you do then? Well, decided I was going to kill myself. And I was going to do it in his office. So he had to deal with a mess that he'd made. It's forever an artist, ain't you, man? So, I phoned Angie, told her what I was going to do, and Bought some rope. Fucking me, wank. Well, I'm still here, ain't I? I didn't do it. The rope snapped. What? I went to my boss's office, stood on a chair, tied the rope around my neck. And when I kicked the chair, the rope snapped. I know. I'm so pathetic, I can't even kill myself. Don't be fucking stupid. It's the came of me first. I know, man. I know. So, anyway, when the rope snapped, I landed straight on my back and I knocked the wind out myself. And I'm on the floor gasping for air. Just when things couldn't get any worse, these two mean looking fuckers burst into the room and start pointing guns in my face. Things just keep getting better and better. Yeah. They drag me off into another room. And who's lying there with a bullet through the eye? Who? Is that prick Eugene? Kill him? The man that we're having an affair with my wife was lying dead next to me. 
Well, what goes around comes around, I suppose. I don't know about that. He starts screaming at me and asking me, why are you here? What are you doing? And I tell them, I'm here to kill myself. And then I point to O'Brien and I tell him that he's the reason. They looked at each other and laughed. And then they left the room. Sorry, what? When they came back, they start asking me more questions like, how did I know O'Brien? Would I like to kill him? I explained how I knew him and what he'd done. And I said, of course. I'd love to have killed him. They laughed again, said, catch, threw the now unloaded gun into my hands and said, he's your problem now, pal. What? What did you do? Oh, hey. He's out in the car. I thought you'd know what to do. I can't believe that just happened. Do you know how much trouble I'm going to be in? I didn't think he'd react like that. I mean, I don't have thought about getting caught, but. Um, he just looked like his heart had been ripped out. I think you should get your things and leave. I don't want you to still be here, Winnie. If he comes home. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Finish your drink. This might be the last time we see each other. Aye. Right. It's all about. You know, I'm gonna miss you. I don't know what to do without you. Sophie, Pluto que prévu, nous avons été prêts. Venez, c'est le plus vite possible. What's going on? Who are you people? What do you want from me? To say que nous sommes, to penser vraiment que tu ne serais pas pris. Don't speak French. Don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying, please. Ne me mens pas. Monteur, tu t'appelles Romain, Romain Leclerc. 
Il en a fallu du temps, mais j'étais trouvé. John, de calme. Va faire un tour. Voici, tu trouves de nouvelles pistes. Je vais continuer ça. Ne fais rien de stupide pendant que je ne suis pas là. Romain, my friend. I'm sorry about my associate. He's, uh, he's more than a little hot-headed. Me on the other hand. I'm not Romain. Why must you continue to like this? And yourself. So much to discuss. Oh shit, I'm still here. Right. Tell me what you know. Wait, I said! She does away. Now, please. Tell me what I need to know. Qu'est-ce que tu as fait Moi, ce que vu est arrivé. Va te faire foutre. Téléphoner au patron. Moi, vous l'appelez. Je ne l'ai pas, rappelez-vous. Il ne m'a libéré sur ma montre. Pff, il n'était pas notre mec de toute façon. Merde. Tu merde. Il n'est pas ton mec. Il est mort. Nique ta mère. Je m'en lave la main. C'est de celle-ci, hein. Répare ça. D'accord. 